Moines Reefers, I'm Daniel, this is Coralust, and today it is Friday morning and this is another little update for you guys. I need your help today, I'm going to show you around, show you a little progress we had last night and we are going to be doing something special. So this is the front display and I'm going to do another video later on tonight after we finish aquascaping it. But we do have a couple stops to make today before we get to finish this tank. So we did have to take off one of the rails just to get the rocks out. These were cemented together and boy were they cemented together. I actually couldn't believe how strong. We took this whole piece out as one and they didn't even budge. I tried to break those off and I finally just gave up trying to break them and said, you know what, we'll reuse this rock structure. So it's pretty cool. I like it wide open like that and then we're gonna do a couple more piles here. So we are gonna hang these lights and move these brackets here because I don't like the rimless with these. I think it looks disgusting on a peninsula. So I am gonna hang those from the ceiling to give it that nice, open, clean look just like this one over here. So this beautiful mixed reef. Um, I was trying to do an SPS only tank over here, but in reality, I just didn't want to do an SPS only tank. So I'm gonna break this up and actually um, throw in, make it a mixed reef, but SPS dominant. So that way we'll have a lot more ability to choose what kind of fish we put in here, what kind of flow we have, and the lighting will actually have a chance to bounce off the sand and to reflect and brighten up the whole tank as opposed to before where I had eight of the XR15 Pros on there and they didn't even barely um, get a chance to hit the sand with all that rock. So, so that is one of the things we're working on. We do have the Renaissance Schools, uh, Renaissance Academy's tank, and that is something we're building right now. So we are working on the stand, we're working on building this out, but this will be an enclosed tank. So we're gonna have a canopy, we'll have doors, we'll have a cabinet. It's a beautiful bow front aquarium, and we're gonna pimp that out to look like basically a castle. So that's on the list for this weekend's projects and coral we're going to be doing lots of deals on coral those of you who haven't shopped online yet check it out we're updating every day uh, coralust.com and there'll be tons of specials this weekend and pretty much we just want to move some inventory and we want to help you guys out so if there's something you like i'm going to do like multiple frag discounts frag packs so feel free to email me or contact me if you're looking for a bunch of corals the a cans are off the hook the rainbows here are freaking stunning. And there's my long fin, long fin clownfish. I love that pair of clowns. Um, they are absolutely incredible. So normally our rainbow A cans are pretty expensive, but today, like I said, we're gonna do some specials. So I will lower those prices online later on. And those of you who could possibly want a pack of like, let's say five or six different A cans, I could easily pull um, out a pack and do something for you. So, so that's that. Now, euphilias are always popular. We did, did lose a lot of euphilias this week. And by lose, I mean sell them. I hate selling inventory because it makes me look empty. <laughs> but there's some cool pieces in here. So you got some elegances, some torches, some hammers, frog spawn, lobos, scullies, uh, button corals, all kinds of different things. Um, and some of my favorite Duncans are in here too. Those bullseye Duncans are absolutely incredible so that's your quick update for in the store now what I need everyone's help with is two things one the front of the store our sign just to draw some more traffic we're trying to do some graphics or something the store is beautiful out front and we absolutely love it but it needs a lot more um, focus if you know what I mean so it doesn't really say what we do here our sign is pretty awesome but we're lacking a little bit of direction, like I said. If you don't know what we do, when you drive by, it just looks like a cool vinyl front window with fish on it. So it doesn't say anything. So I'm thinking about putting up service, maintenance, aquariums, all that stuff, so people can recognize and come, come by and check it out. So Eric did just feed the fish. They are crazy right now. Absolutely love that dog face puffer. There's the shovel nose. Stingray and the two blue dots and there is a grouper and some eels in here as well. 
So, oh, there's the eel right now. You can see him poking his head out. So, they are absolutely incredible. I love those guys. And let's take a trip to the back. So those of you who are dedicated watchers, um, I absolutely appreciate it. And haven't had a chance to say enough to you guys. Um, Marcelo, one of my good friends, I haven't had a chance to call you. Um, Gabriel, thank you so much for always being a supporter. And Devin from Reef Dudes. And there's so many awesome people that watch on a daily basis and stuff and say hello. And I have just been a terrible communicator. So why am I showing you my guy's car, all that good stuff. But we're doing a vinyl wrap. And I'm going to be making some cool logos so this thing will stand out in town and we can get some traffic in for servicing. So I thought about now that I have my own vinyl machine, I can cut and print and make my own stickers. So after the sticker craze, I had to do that. And we've been working on some cool stuff. So what we're looking at right now is trying to find a way to pimp this out. So it looks good. I thought about putting some orange in the tires, putting some fins on the side, making it look like a fish and then add in service and a couple things on it as well. So if anyone is a great graphics designer and you have some ideas and you know a way to make this look cool, so we are gonna get a service van next, but this is my truck. This is what I use as my daily driver. So um, I wanna pimp it out. And like I said, I do a lot of appraisals, estimates, and whatever you wanna call it when I go to people's houses for fish tanks. So I kinda want the neighbors to know when I show up in the driveway that what we do is fish tanks and aquariums and all that good stuff so thanks for checking it out and like I said if you guys have any awesome ideas please feel free to share them spend them my way we are Corlust 420 Schuylkill Road Suite 200 and we are here every day of the week and each day you find something new so we're still using Fritz salt for all of our aquariums, even our fish. We don't cheapen on our salt. Um, it's one of the things I'm actually proud of. A lot of people tend to use really cheap salt in their stores and we pretty much only use the best. So we try to offer you guys a little bit of our knowledge and experience in everything we do. So there you go. Thanks for watching as always. Happy reefing. Stay tuned for the next one.